Legendary Crump's remix is here and his refine is on the way, which means it's time to tier all the effects that can make Legendary Crump broken and put him back on his throne at the top of the meta. Now, let's start off by quickly going over to Change Fate 2, the remix of Crump's preference skill. Now overall this effect is pretty much the same, you still have the reposition and the isolation that is inflicted on Crom and his pair-up cohort. The big difference is that he's going to give himself a visible buff of plus 6 attack and defense and also bonus doubler. And this is massive as it can give Crom a ton of stats. This is going to allow him to hit much harder and also be quite bulky. Now the downside obviously is that he does not get 6 resistance and speed as well. Which could be a big deal as Krom's original build was a speed build and being able to get 12 speed from just to change fate would be really really nice. Now it's not to say that you can't do this effect still, you're just going to have to get that 6 speed buff from somewhere else. Now let's jump directly into the tier list itself and the very first thing I want to put on the tier list is bonus doubler. Now you may be confused, why are you putting bonus doubler on the tier list? He already has that, but the really the important thing for me is that it's, he's able to give it to the unit he repositions. Now, we've seen this on Duo Chrome, where Duo Chrome is a mix of a support and a nuke, right? And this is why he's such a powerful unit and he's so prevalent in the meta. And I want to see this on Legendary Chrome as well. So if Legendary Chrome is able to give bonus doubler to his allies with to change fate, I think this is a massive buff. It can definitely make him a very powerful support unit while also being a very solid nuke. And that's kind of the direction the meta has been moving towards. And so I'm going to put bonus doubler straight into S tier. I think this is a very powerful effect that Chrome could get, which could really open up a lot of like teams for him and a lot of synergies in SD, which could definitely make him meta relevant once again. The next effect I want to talk about is the most obvious effect that every single unit gets with a refine nowadays, and that is stats. Now stats don't seem like the most like fancy effect or anything like that, but they are very important. Essentially without stats you kind of can't do much in this game, and so it's important to see exactly what stats Legendary Chrome gets if they decide to keep going along the path of just attack and defense like they did with his remix of his preference skill and the way his weapon currently is, or they decide to give him like a full spectrum of plus $5 stats, which could drastically change his builds because you might be able to stack speed on him once again, though speed creep is definitely a thing and Chrome isn't exactly fast. So for stats, we'll just put it down in C tier as it is like one of those typical effects you're going to get. Now another effect I think could be a very big deal is special acceleration, right? That breath effect on dual phase. And the reason for this is that Legendary Chrome really does want to be able to hit those dead eyes. And in order to do that, he does need some kind of special acceleration because it is a three cooldown special and he doesn't have slang. And even with slang, you still want that special acceleration as it lets you get past guard sometimes or just allows you to be more consistent with that dead eye proc. So I think that if he was to get special acceleration, that would be a great effect for him. It could definitely make him a much more consistent nuke. So I'm going to put Breath Effect all the way up in A tier. Very, very good effect that he could get, and I could definitely see that happening. Another effect that could make him much more consistent is Time's Pulse. Now, as an infantry unit, Krom can already inherit Time's Pulse 4, which would be nice, but having it built into the weapon, like someone like Young Rebecca, makes Deadeye much more consistent, and it also opens up the C slot, so you could run something like Attack Speed Oath, which could be really nice as well. I think Time's Pulse would be a really, really powerful effect he could get, so I'm going to put it all the way in, uh, up in S tier. Though it isn't the best effect you could get. We'll talk about the best one in a little bit. The next thing I really want to talk about is damage itself. Nukes nowadays just have a ton of ways to deal a ton of damage, being that effective damage like Legendary Crime already has against armors and flyers, or it being something like adaptive damage or something else. But I think the one that Krom could really use is some true damage. So if they wanted to, they could easily put some attack-based true damage on Krom, even like 10 to 15% could help him a ton, allow him to really pierce through some of those really powerful tanks we have nowadays. And when you combine it with effective damage, which he already has, a lot of times it makes him into a very powerful nuke, like a unit like Legendary Hinoka, right? So I'm going to put attack-based true damage in A tier. Now another effect that has been becoming more and more prominent in the meta and just kind of showing up all everywhere is no follow-up. Now for infantry units, no follow-up isn't the biggest deal because you have so many sources of it, such as like infantry no follow-up, um, guidance for, etc. Right? You could put it in his B skill, you could put it in the seal slot, it doesn't really matter. But even so, just having that built into your weapon is one less thing you have to worry about, and it is pretty good even on slower units, right? We have like Valentine's Leo who has it built into his weapon, and it just allows you to get past things like Hardy Fighter and really make sure you could secure those kills. I think this would be a nice effect to have, but I don't think it's like a game changer and it's not going to really like overall impact how useful or how powerful Legendary Chrome is, but it could be a nice quality of life. So I'm going to put that in B tier. Now another nice quality of life he could get is damage reduction. We've seen this becoming more and more prevalent in nukes in the form of like remote sparrow or like remote mirror, right? Having that 30% damage reduction or whatever else effect it is really allows you to survive that first hit and then finish off the opponent on the second hit, typically with your special proccing. 
So I think that having that in his weapon could be really nice and it could add to Legendary Karma's innate bulk, allowing him to be much more difficult to kill and allowing him to secure more kills. It could essentially make him into more like a tanky nuke, kind of like Duo Asker, and it's becoming much more prevalent in Aetherite's defense, just relying more on those sturdy nukes who can survive a counterattack and then being able to get danced and like nuke something else. So when it comes to damage reduction, I'm also going to put that in B tier. Now let's talk about an effect I would absolutely love to see a Legendary Crom. I think it's one of the best effects he could get, and that is going to be Slaying. And Slaying is going to go all the way up into S plus tier, because it is just so ridiculously important for nukes nowadays. You need to have consistent specials. It's just something you absolutely need in this game, especially when you are someone who's relying on Deadeye. Having Slaying just makes it so much better. So having Slay on Legendary Crom would be absolutely massive. It would allow him to run something like Time's Pulse so he could have Deadeye down to one cooldown. Or he could even run like a Special Spiral 4 build, which then he could run something like Ruptured Sky and have a much more consistent uh, damage reduction piercing as well. Now, let's talk about an effect I just assume Legendary Crom will get, and that is a Guaranteed Fall Attack. I think I'm going to put Guaranteed Fall Attack up into A tier. This is a very nice effect that Krom definitely wants because he is not the fastest. Even if you speed stack him nowadays, he's not really going to be able to be fast enough where he can compete with the, you know, the fast meta units. So having that Guaranteed Fall Attack would just be nice for Legendary Krom. And then even if you do run no follow up, it would just allow him to get past things like Kari Fighter, which would be great. So I think Guaranteed Fall Attack would be a great effect. And I kind of assume this is one of the effects he will be getting in his refine, but we'll have to wait and see. Now let's talk about another effect that wouldn't be exactly amazing, but could be good, and that's going to be Guard. As I was mentioning earlier, we are trending more and more towards these tanky nukes who can really survive hits, and one of the big effects that these tanky nukes have is Guard. We see this like on Arvel with their Guard Aura, or like Duo Asker with their built-in Guard, and what this does essentially is stops the enemy tanks from proccing their specials and securing kills. So I think Guard could be a very nice effect for Krom to have, but I don't think it's the biggest deal. It's not going to be like a meta changing thing, or it's not going to be the effect that allows Krom to really rise in the meta. So I'm going to put it down in C tier. Another effect I think that could help Krom out though is bonus stats. Bonus stats have become more and more prevalent on units. We see these more and more often on units like Felix or Lear or like Winter Black Knight, right? All these units who just get free bonus stats. And this is really important in the speed meta as it just lets them push past the power creep of speed. But for Luxury Crom even, just having more stats can make it more bulky and allow him to hit harder. So I'm going to put it down in B tier as a definitely nice effect he could get. And he kind of already has gotten this in the form of bonus doubler. So I could see that being his bonus stats, though he could always get more. Now, when it comes to nukes, there is one effect every single nuke wants to have nowadays, and that's damage reduction piercing. Now, Crom does have a few options already, right? He has Deadeye as an archer, and he also has the option of running Special Spiral 4. But if he did have that built into his weapon, that could open up his B slot or even allow him to be run a better special like Ruptured Sky. So I could definitely see that being a very powerful effect. We've seen this on someone like Young Innis, right, where it's built into his weapon and it just allows him to run really flexible builds and let him be a very powerful nuke. So I think damage reduction piercing in his weapon refine could make Legendary Com really scary and much more flexible as a unit, which is always good, especially as an infantry unit who have a ton of options for builds. That would put damage reduction piercing in S tier. Now this next one's gonna be a bit confusing for some people, but I'm gonna talk about Tempo. Now Tempo is the effect that stops special acceleration and also has anti-guard built into it, right? And it is a very, very powerful effect, but the problem with Tempo typically with refines is that it takes up too much budget of the like weapon refine. If you get Tempo in your weapon refine, it's like one of the main effects. And so for me, I think I'm gonna put Tempo down in B tier. Not that it's not a good effect, I'm just afraid that if Krom got Tempo, that would take up a majority of his weapon refine and he wouldn't get much else. So this is going to be a bit confusing too, but we're going to go to Anti-Guard. Now Anti-Guard is half of Tempo. It's just the effect that it stops units from inflicting guard on the nuke. And it's very important nowadays as it allows much more consistent procs of like Deadeye or Rapture Sky or whatever else. And I think for this one, this is an easy S tier effect. Now you might be thinking, Tempo is just better than Anti-Guard. Why is it higher, right? But like I was mentioning, the budget, right? The budget of a refine. And Anti-Guard typically doesn't take up that much of a budget. Usually it's like half an effect they consider it. So you can get Anti-Guard on a Refine and still get a lot of other effects. So if we could just get Anti-Guard, I think that would be amazing. That would definitely help Krom out a lot, especially if he does get something like Slaying on his Refine, right? Or even Time Spools. Now let's stop talking about some more synergistic effects I would really love to see on Legendary Krom. And the first one I want to talk about is the Blade Tome effect. That's right, the Blade Tome effect we've seen on like Nino or Tharja back in the day, where you get 
plus attack based off your visible bonuses. I think this would be really cool for Legendary Krom as he already has that bonus leveler effect built into Change Fate. And I think if he was able to give it to himself and allies, that would make him a very powerful support and allow him to pump out a ton more damage and also allow his allies to do more damage. So it would be a very synergistic effect with his existing effect and it would also allow him to be a much more powerful support while also providing more damage for himself as a nuke. So I think I'm gonna put this in A tier, definitely very good, but there obviously is some major weaknesses to these Blade Tome effects nowadays, right? With the, like, the dull effects that cancel out buff, visible buffs, or even like the low attack speed and stuff like that. So we're gonna put it in A tier for right now. But speaking of that effect, let's talk about the more powerful version, and we're gonna talk about Treachery. Now Treachery is an effect that was introduced on Harmonic Roy, and this is essentially true damage you get based off of your visible bonuses. And I think if Krom was able to get this, it would be absolutely insane. Essentially what you could do is have something like an Oath skill and Legendary Krom's C skill, and he could have essentially visible plus six to three stats. So you could have like attack speed and defense very easily with uh, attack speed Oath 4, and then Krom could, you know, you change fate, you get that, you get bonus doubler, and then you also get treachery. And so you'd be doing absolutely ridiculous amounts of damage while also having ridiculous amount of stats to back it up. I think this effect would be absolutely cool, and if you could give it to other units as like a bonus effect, right, like as a supportive effect, kind of like how Duochrome decelerates specials, I think it would be insane, and I think it could definitely push Legendary Chrome very high in the meta. I could see him being used in a ton of places. So I think Treachery is one of the cooler effects he could get, so I'm going to put it all the way up in S plus tier, and I think I would just love to see them go this way with Chrome, even though it would be absolutely horrifying, especially when you like mix him up with like a Bridal Catcher or something, right, and he's like quadding with like a billion true damage. Another one of the cool effects I think I could see on Legendary Krom is like a low effect, right? I can easily see him getting something like low attack defense built into his weapon, and I think this is kind of underestimated. It's actually very, very powerful. We've seen this on things like Brave Dimitri and Altina, and I think people underestimate just how good they are, especially in today's meta where people just stack stats. And being able to get past those bonuses is a really big deal and it's gonna really allow you to get through and kill some tanks. So I think Low would be an absolutely great effect for him to have. It could really shut down like those legendary Eliwood's teams and allow him to really nuke some more of the tanks. So I'm gonna put Low in A tier. Hopefully he can get something. And the other thing too is that it also opens up his B slot for more options. So just having that built into your weapon is always a good thing. Now the final effect I think Krom could really get that could really bust him open and make him an insane unit is a Brave effect. That's right. I think Krom's biggest problem right now is that he is a slow nuke. Even though being a slow nuke has become a little bit more popular in the meta just because of the prevalence of like Brow Catcher and things, I think the biggest problem always is no follow up, right? Have, running into one of those god swords who have no follow up and you can only hit them once, typically you're not going to get the kill. But if you have a brave effect built into your weapon, you get around that. You can just hit them twice no matter what, which is really, really big and really, really powerful, especially when you have something like effective damage, or if you could have slaying into your weapon, you can really easily like put tempo in your B slot, and then you're gonna be guaranteeing like a ruptured sky or like a dead eye, which can just destroy enemy tanks. So I think a brave effect would be like one of the most powerful effects Leisure Chrome could get, and it could totally fix his speed problems, and also just make him into a much more powerful nuke, especially when you already consider his bonus level he's gonna be getting. So for the brave effect, we're gonna put it all the way up into S plus tier, as I think it would just make Leisure Chrome absolutely busted. Now the final thing I really want to talk about the two directions I can see Legendary Krom's refined going. I can see them making him more into just a nuke and just kind of focusing on Krom himself. And then there's the other option of him becoming more of a support unit. And personally, I would like to see the latter. I want to see him become more of a support unit. I want him to become more like Duo Krom, where he's offering really powerful support that also affects himself. So that's the direction I'm hoping they go for. I could definitely see them going that way with something like Bonus Doubler. But if they decide to take it even one step further and give out treachery or something like that, then I think Krom could really rise in the meta and become extremely powerful. And then we would have two very scary Krom archers in the meta, which sounds kind of horrifying, but at the same time, as someone who's invested into Krom, I'd be pretty excited. Okay, and with that, my tier list for Legendary Krom's effects is going to be over. But now I'd love to hear from you. What would you like to see in Legendary Krom's refine? Would you like to see some of the effects I mentioned, or would you like to see something completely different? And which path would you like to see Legendary Krom take? Would you like to see him be more of a selfish DPS, or would you love to see him to just go completely into the support position and just become an amazing support unit? Make sure to drop a comment down below letting me know. As always, I'd love to thank all my members for the cost of support, and make sure you like and subscribe so the second that Legendary Krom's Refine drops, you can come check out my video discussing all of its powerful effects and talking about some of the best builds you can run on him. This has been Oblivion, I'll catch you all later.